here we go. This is our game. How's that funky background looking on stream? Let's, let's check in. Cool. So this is going to be um, a game with a lot more motion than... Wait, I'll pause for the, pause the lovely music. Yep, we're playing Ecstasy, or Extas, uh, possibly. Which is a... Um, yeah, this is about music. Um, it's a cyberpunky uh, puzzle game um, based on the awakening consciousness of an android. Um, and you've got to, it's basically a, con a connection making game, really. You're trying to make all the electric connections for them. Okay, well, let me know how that's looking for you on the stream, because I can always. Can always make some some changes to try and get it um, a bit better for you. Uh, the music really reminds me of um, I don't know if you've seen the um, original animated film of Ghost in the Shell from 1995. The the spirit of the music is very very similar with the the choral voices and the um, like the traditional rhythms and things that that compared with um, like a cyberpunk aesthetic as well um, very very similar um, must be drawing the same inspirations uh, because um, this is this is five years before right so I don't I don't know everything about um, ecstasy ecstas um, so I couldn't find uh, any manual for it but uh, so I, I should say we this is the Amiga version we're um, yeah, we're playing the Amiga version here. Um, I think this is the demo mode. So it's kind of like a, I think eight levels, a score based um, game. Oh. I guess we can have a look at the demo for a minute actually, just to give you a, an idea of what it looks like. So in the center is is the face oh. of the android um, who we're trying to awaken. Um, we've got the green bubble. We're in charge of the green bubble. And the purplish, bluish bubble is our opponent. Um, so if you're playing single mode, single player mode, um, that's AI controlled, and you're sort of racing against time to be the first one to make all the connections. Um, and yeah, yeah, let's let's go. Hold on, that wasn't what I intended to click on. Let's. Okay, how do we get out of here? If I press escape. Yes. So there's different modes of one player. So you've got two so you've got two player mode as well. So you could uh, one person could be on the keyboard, one person could be on mouse, um, and control a bubble each. Um, and then there's different one player ranks. So there's innocent Latin lover and young cannibal. Um, maybe difficulty levels? I don't know. I'm gonna try innocent and start a new game off. I'll try and talk us through what's happening. So I'm Green Bubble, um, and I've got the left left hand side of this screen. I love these graphics; um, very evocative, and the um, the music's really atmospheric too. So when these circular things are, I'm doing. I'm controlling this uh, pink path that's appearing. Um, when the circular things are open and red, you can. Ooh, I might have to change from the tablet to the the mouse for this. It might be a little a little tricky. Um, oi oi! Uh, right, so these things here, uh, you can make uh, magenta pink paths with them. Uh, when they're open, you can click and drag your purple ball. Um, it's kind of a v uh, oh yeah. I think I'm going to switch back to the mouse for this. Yeah, I think I'll have a, just a bit more control for. Gameplay purposes. So you need to make these paths, is what I'm trying to say. You've got sort of a vague directional control of, over this purple thing. You need to make the paths. The paths can't. You've already got one. Don't be greedy. Um, can't extend beyond where the fuses go if there isn't a fuse already there. The sparks destroy the fuses. The sparks that appear from these like synaptic things here. 
you can get ugh, if you direct an impulse into this like circuit board bit in the center you can get a replacement um, fuse for your circuitry so and if you click on the sparks you can make them disappear which is actually pretty handy so now I can finish off the no 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 oh the other side one frustrating so this will go on for a bit while their score ticks up I'll have a sip of tea so we can try that again um, I think it's, well, yeah from the, the little tests I had um, previously it does seem a bit hit and miss as to um, where's me bubble where's me bubble I can hear some exciting music playing outside now. Okay, it seems to have go gone a bit frozen. Let me get my mouse back. Can I continue? Ecstasy? Oh, that's disappointing. I might need to restart it. It seems to have gone a bit funky. Super. Alright, I think I'll be able to get a little bit of play out of this um, before we end our stream. So, uh, yeah, let's have a go at that first level again. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to talk a bit more coherently about what's going on. Hopefully. Um, while also playing the game. It's quite, it's quite challenging. Um, but I'm, I'm drawn to it. It's quite, quite compelling. I think on a, um, kind of, I think it's quite effective on a subconscious level as well with the, um, the, uh, New game, here we go. Um, I guess the music and the graphics, they're quite suggestive of certain things. Um, like this this little intro bit as well. Um, yeah, they all have meaning. Um, although it's not necessarily a, a literal a literal meaning, which is really interesting. Right, so I'm trying to make these these pinky purple paths to the um, centre of our android's forehead. So I'm trying to make those work and keep my um, fuses in as well. So I'm doing kind of all right on the path front, um, and then if I can get rid of some of these sparks too, I might be able to. How hard to track down? Um, I need one more fuse and to get rid of all the sparks and then as, if I direct a few impulses into the um, the android um, we will reach some level of awakening so I need to change this one great, so that's the impulse going in um, I don't... I, I think for each impulse that goes in you get points I don't know if you get points for anything else um, it's quite hard to keep track of everything going on. I really love the animation, the expressions on the android's face as well. Um, I think there might be more. There you go, success. Uh, that might be more rewarding to look at as a spectator, I think, than playing. But it's really hard for me to concentrate on that while while everything's going on. There you go. So it shows sort of like player A and B's high scores. Um, and although there is like a continue function for this game where you'd put in a level code, I think you only get a level code halfway through the game. Okay, so this looks like another thing altogether, doesn't it, frankly? So let's try and uh, see what we can see, really. I'll try and make some paths. Uh, there's clearly different components here as well that we need to be looking at. Um, lots more switches as well, which is interesting. Um, I'm not going to worry about f protecting fuse. Oh, it's going to go down that detour. It's quite hard to guide the path accurately. You sort of, it sort of heads off faster than you're indicating with the mouse. So it sort of speeds on ahead of you and in the general direction that you're indicating. It's really hard to turn that corner. Oh, maybe it's really hard to turn that corner because I haven't done the switch. That could be it. 
Yes, engine switch, great. So that does that, and that's where the spark will go. Okay. So if I go there from now on, that's cool. That's. Ah, missed the. Missed that last little bit connection. Ah, there's the thing. Oh, no, that's good. So, um. Let's try the, this left hand side of the path too. Ooh, oh, look at what the eyes are doing. <gasps> Whoa. Interesting. And there's like a two way a two way component. Can I? I don't think I can do anything to that one. Interesting. So you might not get a choice of where things go from there. This is really. Oh, there's a good fuse for that. Okay. So I'm directing things to a place where I can get fuses. Great. So let's put a fuse in there. No. Go away, Spark. I want no spark. Not that kind of spark, anyway. Uh, uh, oh, how do I go? Whoa. Whoa, this is difficult to control. Oh, and uh, my fuse has gone again. Wow, these are so these components and sparks and impulses and stuff are so fast. Um, right, so I need another one of these, don't I? Oh, thanks. I guess what I haven't shown off is that you can aggro the AI, you can just kind of bash into them. Which is kind of fun when you're a bubble. Um, and try and nick their components and stuff. Um, which, I don't know if that's a good technique. I mean, they're not going to be winning while I'm bashing into them. Uh, for sure. But now, now they're going to be a bit more aggressive towards me, I think. You flaming thing. Oh, that's really interesting. So that could be interesting. So how do I get a path there? Um, oh, this is very difficult to concentrate on. You have to be super quick to get catch those um the sparks they're very hard to capture oh okay oh nice okay um where can i go i can't go anywhere from there interesting but right the spark can which is intriguing oh now i'm stuck again how tricky If I make, excuse me, if I make that one, that could get impulses to the, maybe that's the main thing I need to do. So you like a safe path with no, um, so that's increasing my score, which is cool. Oh, I so, oh, keep trying to do the same thing over and over again and not getting anywhere. So I can't create any, what if I change the, haha, <laughs> oh, sorry. I just thought I'd just change your thing over a little bit, you know? Just in case you... I mean, another sort of like... Um, ...subtextual element is that you are playing against an AI as well, which is... ...kind of an interesting... ...interesting spin on things. So it's, it's a two... it's a two-player game... ...no matter what. Yeah, they're really on their uh, guard there, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know how, how successful this is going to be. It's, oh, excuse me. I'm going to have to get... So I think... Whoa. <laughs> control. Yeah, well that's, that ties up with what I'm seeing. Um, so I really need this, don't I? Go away, Spark! You look very frustrating. So can I go... Not really. Oh, you... Very frustrating thing. Okay, can I... No! 
Holy moly. Okay, now I can do a thing. I'm going up and I'm going round this way. Perfect. No! Go away! This spark on the left is absolutely doing me in. Actually, I've made a circuit so that goes the wrong way. Uh, wrong way. Hopefully. Um, right, I need another one of these. Over here. Let me try and make this not. So I think this might work. I don't know if I need to get three or three paths going. Hopefully I don't. Hopefully I just need to read oh a certain threshold of points, but the other side has got far more points than me. So I might have tweaked too late what what the aim of the game is. Oh hang on, I probably need a if I can get another one of these. Interesting, I seem to have had many sparks lately. Oh, I think the sparks only come when they know I have a chance of actually getting an impulse through on that side, which is a bit cheeky, I find. Okay, I'm looking out for sparks. And I think my impulse paths should be okay, but I'm super behind the other player, so I don't think I'm going to win this level. I don't think I'm going to win consciousness for my my lovely android friend with the uh, <laughs> with the developing vision control. So I've got no, I've got no sparks and no impulses, which I'm a bit confused about. Why, why is that? How do I make, how do I make these things happen? Oh, that. So now are you. Oh, are you. Yeah. So where did all my impulses go? That's what I'm very confused about. Are there a certain number? Yeah, so as soon as I start off doing anything here, that's when one of these bad boys turns up. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay, well that's something good to know. But what... What gets the impulses moving again? That's what I need to know. Because the other ones just they just keep coming. So that one needs to be that way, doesn't it? I need to have a Oh maybe it's the path that's incomplete. But then I should be getting destroy their... I don't think I've destroyed their impulses. And that cheeky one has got a... Um... Yeah, I don't know what, what to do to win to this this one, to be honest, because I'm not getting any electrical signals, sorry. If I just grab that and pop that in there, does that help anything? I get a sparkle, but the sparkles are not what I'm looking for. Yeah, alright, cheeky. Go on. Back to your side. So, I'm really not sure. Oh, hang on, there's a counter on the. Oh, I never really clocked the counters on the outsides either. Oh, maybe there's a like a total number of. Hmm. Something to consider. It's kind of a learning experience as you go. It's all trial and error, really. But that's a little taste of ecstas, ecstasy, um, for you folks. And I think it's come to the end of our, our stream time. Thank you very much for joining me.
I will. Uh, oh no, I've got to try and extricate myself from the game. Ah, success. Fantastic. Right, let's just check. So, um, if you were watching and enjoyed, um, I plan to keep on streaming. Um, depending on you know the the quality of stream I can get with my current setup, as I mentioned at the um, the head of the stream. Uh, cool. Um, yes. So I will keep streaming. So keep checking, keep checking in with my schedule to see when I'll next be streaming. Um, I'd kind of like to do some more mystery house, but uh, once again, out of ideas. So. Uh, maybe some some input on that would be really helpful. Um, and you can check out my um, you can check out the the videos on demand versions of um, the streams on my YouTube channel. Um, so I don't have a, a neat address for that, unfortunately. Um, but if you search for cat sequences and then tell YouTube that you weren't actually searching for consequences, uh, you can you can find me on YouTube that way. Um, there's, there's a link in my profile on, on Twitch here as well. Um, and yeah, so keep checking there. I do regular Let's Plays, um, usually one one episode a week of, of something. There's a special one-off one coming uh, this Sunday. Um, but my regular series are, I'm playing um, the adventure game The Feeble Files, and I'm playing role-playing game Divine Divinity. So it's an ongoing series of those. Um, and yeah, uh, I we like to play a bit more ecstasy as well because I find it quite an intriguing game and kind of a an interesting case for um, games as art in, the, in and of themselves and kind of how how they best realise that. I think ecstasy is kind of in that realm um, without saying they're too pretentious of course. Um, right so yeah let's let's call it a stream folks thank you very much for joining me um, and hopefully see you again next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.